What's up guys, Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with uh, another video for you. In this one, I was actually uh, sitting here getting ready for the TGIF Pocket Dump, getting ready to shoot that. And I thought maybe I should make a video and show you guys like a little bit about where to carry what you carry every day. Uh, not just about, you know, your particular EDC, because, uh, you know, to everybody, that's going to be a very personalized thing. It's going to be a very individualized thing. But there are some basic concepts that we can all talk about and discuss maybe that will help improve your EDC and maybe give you some ideas about carrying. Um, in particular, I've got a couple of tips for concealed carriers. I know if you're new to concealed carrying, it can be really daunting to try to figure out where the best place is to carry and exactly how to get that all set up. I'm going to give you a couple of tips about that today. I'm also going to talk about the Vismix tactical belt that I've been using. I'm super happy with that. I'm really, really happy with how that's been working out. Um, it does allow me to carry the things that I want to carry. It's very secure and I've been working on getting my gun belt set up for it, but that, I can't show it off right now because to be honest with you, I am embarrassed to show it off. So <laughs> maybe if I <clears throat> can get some more stuff put on there, I might do a video about that one. But for this one, I'm just going to really quick, I'm going to grab things and I'll just show you really quickly like how I'm putting on what I'm putting on. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. Guys, I think I forgot to say it before. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you stopping by and checking out one of my little videos. If you're a returning viewer, it's so great to see you. I uh, hope you guys have been doing well. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoy the video. Please leave a like if you do like it and uh, subscribe. Our channel memberships are live right now, guys. So if you want to become a channel member and help support the Average Gear Review and you want to become a gearhead, join up. Hopefully I'll see you over there, guys. Here we go. I have to kind of do this part quick because uh, these pants are really about to fall down. So um, I'm just wearing a basic flannel shirt. This is probably a Walmart flannel, just being 100% honest with you. These Wranglers, I think were probably also from Walmart. These are some Wrangler cargo pants. I will put a link for them down below. They're kind of hard to find anymore because they actually um, they actually changed the pattern on them and I don't like the newer pockets. So these have some particular pockets on them that I just, I really like using. So the first thing that I'm going to put on whenever, um, you know, and I suggest go ahead and starting with this, especially if your pants are about to fall off of you like mine are, uh, is go ahead and put your belt on first. And uh, the Vismix tactical belt is a, just a complete Velcro system. It's got a good overhang here. Uh, this much of it is overhang on this side. That's the um, it's a loop. Or no, I'm sorry. This is the this is the hook side, and then the loop is uh, all around the outside of the belt. So you can make it fit any size waist. They do come in different sizes, but uh, you know this it gives you a, a whole lot of adjustability. And that's going to lead me to my first tip: is when you are concealed carrying. And let me grab the holster here. So. Uh, again, you know, I always carry the uh, Gun and Flower Kydex holster with an ulti clip on it. Just it allows me to clip it to anything, so that's kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, got the G2C with the Olight Balder RL. If you watch any of my videos, you know this is pretty much my everyday carry. Of course, it is. Um, it's completely unloaded, no mag in it, just for you know, just for demonstration purposes here. So, what I usually do, of course, I'm not going to put the gun in it, but at first. What, what I like to do is just, I like to slip the holster over my hand like this. It makes it really, really easy. I know it might look goofy, but this is just perfect for the way that I carry it. Now, my my holster also, it is set up for inside the waistband, so be aware of that. Um, but what I'll do is I'll bring it here in the front. And this is one of the tips I'm going to talk about for new concealed carriers. This is something you're going to have to, you're going to have to figure out where, there's a sweet spot that you can get the holster into, and it'll depend on what kind of holster you're carrying, what kind of clip system you're using, um, the, the material of your holster, just how it's designed. There's a lot of factors there, but you'll find if you're going to carry appendix, and this is, I would recommend to anybody, if you're not already concealed carrying, um, and you're going to start to carry appendix, just get used to it. Um, and that way you can train that way and be used to it. 
If you haven't carried appendix, you've always been like a three o'clock, four o'clock kind of guy. You know, that's that's totally cool. That's just not how I carry. So I, I just have some specific tips for appendix carry, really. Um, and with the Vismix belt, what it allows me to do, too, is I can line up the edge of the ulti clip here right with the end of the belt. So when I clip it down, the belt actually meets right up with it and it just sits there really nicely kind of in a notch. So it's very secure. And of course, the ulti clips got it just secured really, really well to the belt. So uh, like I said, you're just going to have to find a sweet spot. And this comes with carrying and with practice. You just got to find the spot that's going to work best for you. I found a spot that works best for me, but it's just because that's where the gun sits kind of in my the fat of my belly and the side of my legs. So for everybody, it's going to be completely individualized and you'll just have to find that sweet spot for yourself. My advice is just to carry it and get used to wearing it, get used to sitting down with it. Um, there is a technique also to sitting down with it on that I'll recommend um, when you go to like sit in your car or whatever, just hook your thumb or whatever behind the back of your holster here. And when you go to sit down, just hold it away from your body. That way your, uh, your stomach will compress behind the holster and you still got your gun nice uh, in a nice presented position there. That's it if you care about that. So anyway, um, then I will put the, of course, put the holster in and um, got the holster in just the right spot. So that allows me to get the pistol into just the right spot. And uh, so the nice thing about this Vismix tactical belt, or if you have a geared type belt, what it'll allow, allow you to do is adjust it just right where you could accommodate for the holster. Now put mine on so much, I just naturally put it to the right place where it's just perfect. Um, but you can see there, it sits nicely just right inside. Um, it sits in just the right spot for me. With the holster on, it doesn't poke out. It doesn't really print. Um, you know, if you're a bigger guy, it's a little bit easier. If you have kind of a gut on your love handles, it, it's, sorry, skinny guys. We just, we, we have a little bit of an advantage there. So, um, but anyway, the next thing, um, let's talk about your main carry pocket knife. So um, right now I'm carrying the Spyderco PM3 with the Lynch Northwest Northern Lights scale set on it. I just did a video on this one, guys. So if you um, want to get a better look at these on the knife and, and watch a little bit of the process, check that video out. And I'll put a link for it up there at the top of the screen. Um, you know, most knives are going to be set up with the clip for a right hand carry. <clears throat> so that being said, that means that you're going to carry it. And I know this may sound silly. I've seen people carrying them on the outside of your pants, but please don't do that. Uh, it allows you to clip it in here into the side of your pocket here. And I like to nestle mine back as far in the pocket as it'll go. So it's in a nice secure place there, but it's also out of the way so that I can carry other things in this pocket. Um, and I'll get to those in a minute because I actually do carry something in that pocket. So that's just a, a little tip for you. You know, if you're right handed, um, if you're left handed, you may have to switch the clip around or you may have to find a particular folding knife that's going to work for you. I like to have whatever working knife I'm going to carry, my EDC knife, I like to have it available on my right side. This is not going to be my uh, small arm retention knife. It's got, not going to be a knife I'm going to use to fight with it. I could if I had to. The Spider Co. Para 3, believe me, it's slicey and it's long enough to be deadly. But, you know, that's not the main reason for the EDC knife. So I keep that on the right hand side because I'm assuming if I'm just going to cut some basic materials, I don't also have my pistol in my right hand. So that's my reasoning for carrying that way. Now, I do carry a lot of stuff offhand on the left side. A lot, I tend to carry my phone to the left side. Um, I just like having and I can't show you the phone because I'm recording with it right now, but I like having it on the left so that I can access it and still have the uh, right hand free since I'm right hand dominant. So that's that's another little tip for carrying there. I do tend to offload most non-essential things and a lot of just other general things. I, I like to offload to the left hand side just to keep them, just to keep that right hand free. And here's a good tip for you. It's um, an, just a, an awareness tip for you when you're out and about. Keep your Dominant hand free. Don't have your keys, your phone, whatever it is. Don't have that in your whatever hand you may have to reach for your gun with. Keep that hand free. So when you have items you might be carrying in your hand, say you're going out from the store to your car, 
switch those keys over to your left hand so that the, your right hand's free. Um, and, and just be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of what's going on around you. So um, the uh, small arm retention knife, I've gone over this concept before in previous videos. And, and what a small arm retention knife is, it's a backup knife. It's an emergency knife. It's something that you're going to pull out if you can't get to your primary weapon, if you can't or you're having to defend your primary weapon. It's a, it's a means of something really quick, deployable that you can get to with your left hand and defend that dominant hand or firearm. So it, commonly called a small arm retention knife. The SLCP dagger is a really good example of a, just a purpose built small arms retention knife. And actually the SLCP mini dagger is uh, a lot of the, has a lot to do with the, um, with the inspiration for this knife that I'm carrying right now, and it's what I'm using, uh, working with right now as my small arm retention knife. It's the, uh, I'm calling it the white horse prototype. And, uh, this is one that I'm working on myself. Now we'll be hundred percent honest. The blade that I'm using here is just a stock blade that I got off of Amazon, uh, from an existing knife, but the handle design is mine and it's something I've been working on. So uh, this is what I'm using for my small arms retention knife. It's just something small that you can have, you know, um, you can have it out of the way. It's going to be easy to get to. And I like to keep mine where it's handy for the right or left hand so that if I do need to get, you know, let's say my firearm is out, I get taken away from me, whatever. I have something that I can grab from the right or the left. But that's just a personal preference. Also, as most of you know, you can defend the gun um, with the elbow tucked into it, pushing it in and then say I could get to the small arm retention knife with the right hand. Anyway, that may be a little more uh, tactics than you guys care about, but it's just a, uh, man, if I could drop this thing again, that'd be really cool. So the small arm retention knife, like I said, I like to be able to get to it from the right or the left side. So I tend to carry it tucked in here in the waist about the same about just kind of mirrored on the spot where uh, the pistol is basically. And I don't want that one to go over the belt. It doesn't need to. This one's got the uh, ulti clip on it also. So it will just clip to my pants just fine and I can wear it underneath the belt. And I like that because then it doesn't even print on the belt. Um, the ulti clip, if I can get it in here, it does allow you to kind of shift the knife so you can carry it more to the left hand side you can carry it more straight up and down or even cant it in to the right if you want to so i like it gives you a lot of options as to how to carry it and the sheath once it's in there it's very very like it's in there it's not going to come out accidentally um i think for comfort i typically end up wearing it sort of like this but again i can reach that with the right hand or the left hand there so um you know there's a tip on that wallet. Um, could, I, I tend to carry this in my back right pocket. And I've been thinking lately that I probably should actually switch and start carrying it in the back left hand pocket. So um, if you're watching the TGI pocket dump later and you remember this part, put it in the comments down below on that video. I'd love to see that just to see if any of you guys got that. Um, tick watch. Of course, I always wear my watch on my left hand side. And uh, Shannon and I were out the other day running errands and I always get, for some reason, people just peg me as a veteran and, and I, you know, I, I don't know, it, maybe it's the bald head. But anyway, I said, you know, I even try to wear my watch facing outwards so that I don't look like a veteran. But <laughs> anyway, normally I would wear my watch uh, turned towards the inside, though, just for tactical purposes. Um, it keeps you from, you know, it keeps you from banging your wrist against stuff and damaging your watch. If it's on the inside, it's closer to your body. Also, it keeps it from reflecting against um, lights or from the sun above. So, you know, there's another little tactical tip for you. The more you know. Uh, Hank, I like to keep a Hank on me. And really, you know, this can this could be anywhere you want to put it. Anywhere you have a little extra space, you can stick this. It's it. It's just wherever it's handy to get to. I generally end up keeping it in a back pocket, just stuck in there. And, uh, you know, it's out of the way. It's really easy to, for me to get to when I need it. My Lighter Bro Pro, um, of course, you know, smaller items like this, it, it really doesn't matter where you carry it. But I do tend to try to shift those things off to my left hand side for, you know, the same reasons I was talking about earlier. 
pocket pouches. Um, I am, was not a big fan of pocket pouches before I uh, before I got my very first pocket platform from Knife Eye King. And I'm being 100% honest here, guys, this is not something that I used before, but now I actually, uh, I carry two of them. And you can see the amount of tools. Let me get them up here close for you so you can see. You can see the amount of tools that these two small things that'll fit in my front pockets allow you to carry. It, it's kind of ridiculous. This one has a full-size wave in it, uh, I5T, full-size Sharpie, Lynch Northwest Pry Bar, and a driver. So this is sort of like an ancillary pouch. And this is a concept of sort of like would be a secondary carry backup for certain things, um, you know, but more of a robust type of items that, uh, you know, if you need something a little more heavy duty. So again, this, this is set up for right hand carry. So that one would go into my right hand pocket. And again, those are things that I may not need, but if I do need those things, I'm probably not going for my firearm. Is that, is that starting to make sense now? This one's an X-Pack version. It's a lot smaller. And you can see this one, I've got it set up as just sort of like a mini EDC get kit. I've got an I3E in here, pry bar, the flactanium fly bar there, SOG power leader, which is hands down still my very favorite uh, multi-tool. I've got a little small refillable lighter in here and a mech army pin I got from my buddy, Matt, good guy with gun. Shout out to Matt. Um, I do carry it, bud. And uh, so, yeah, this is like a small mini or even might be considered a micro EDC kit that I just, I, I actually got the uh, will to make one that's in a left-hand version. And so it allows me to carry it left, left side. And it really just kind of lets me carry everything that I need right there in one little spot. A tip that I've talked about before, and I don't know if people are adopting this or not, but guys, order an iMini 2. I'm, I've got a link for it in the, in the description down below, but I'll try to put a card in here for you. Order, order an iMini 2 uh, from Olight or from Amazon, either one. This is a great flashlight, guys. It, it's, it activates when you detach it, and I wear it on a chain around my neck so that you can pull it off, and whenever you need to use it, it's there. You can see how bright that thing is. I mean, it is, it's good and bright. The nice thing, too, is that the tail cap is a USB charger, so you can take this cover off and actually just plug that into your computer, which is what I end up doing a lot with it is I'll plug it into the computer when I'm not, uh, you know, when I'm not wearing it. You know, sunglasses, um, you know, I don't know where to store these when you're walking around. I guess you could put them in your pocket up here and wear them like that. Um, you know, I don't really know. Keep, keep these wherever. You could, you could just go ahead and put them on your face. Um, you can wear them on top of your head like this. Um, I do think this is unacceptable. I think we've all agreed that wearing them this way is, is unacceptable. So, uh, you know, let, let's stop doing that, guys. Anyway, I hope you found the video super informative, guys. It's good to be back. I hope you missed me. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, make sure you stick around and check out the uh, TGIF pocket dump for tonight. It's back, baby. It's back. All right. Anyway, guys, you know what I say. Always be carrying and... You got it. Thanks, guys. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.